Personally, I can tell you that John was a real friend in accommodating what to him were my unusual practices as a religiously observant Jew. Whether it was walking with me on a Saturday to an important meeting or turning down a popular Friday night dinner invitation at the Munich Security Conference we went to every year because it was too far to walk, uh, we would stay in the hotel and have what John learned to call our Shalom Shabbat dinners, <laughs> peaceful Sabbath dinners. But of course, with John, they weren't that peaceful. John, uh, naturally, in doing these wonderful uh, acts of friendship, grumbled all the way about what I was putting him through, you know. Right now, uh, I think he's probably deriving some pleasure from the fact that it turned out that his funeral was held on a Saturday and I had a walk to get here. <laughs> I'm sure he, if, if he were right now, he'd tell me that that was divine justice. <laughs> He uh, ultimately, as he did with so much of his life, uh, turned these interfaith experiences into a truly hilarious comedy routine. Uh, it began with a solemn pronouncement by John that he was converting to Judaism. Then he explained much less solemnly I do this not because of any particular liking for the religion. It's just that for so many years I've had to go along with all of Joe's religious nonsense that I might as well convert and get the benefits. <laughs> One of his favorite targets was the Sabbath elevators in Israeli hotels, which are pre-programmed to stop at every floor. You know, John had many virtues, but patience was not one of them. <laughs> Therefore, rides on those Shabbat elevators were uh, not the happiest times we spent <laughs> together. Um, I, I say this uh, both to say uh, in stories how full and genuine was John's acceptance of my religious practices, which were different from what he knew, but also to make a larger point, because I can tell you, an, everything we did together around the world and here in Washington and across America, he showed that same uh, acceptance, respect, curiosity about everybody's religious observances and about everything else about them that was different from himself and his own experiences.